Welcome back to Screen Sleuths. I'm Chris, and we are meeting early this week to talk about Dark Matter, Episode 9, notably titled Entanglement. Now, of course, we can't do a deep dive until the next episode airs next week, but in this video, I want to talk about what Entanglement is and how the show may use the concept creatively to help wrap up the season. So if you can't get enough Dark Matter and want a little more to hold you over till the finale next week, stay tuned. Because science stuff and theories are on the way. So I started thinking about this after talking with one of you in the comment section of the episode 8 video. Thank you for the inspiration. Okay, so what is quantum entanglement? When two particles become entangled, their properties become intertwined regardless of the distance between them. And yeah, we're talking cosmic distances here. Calling it far apart would be like describing the surface of the sun as hot. We're describing Jennifer Connelly's performance in the show as not bad. Now, what's even wilder is if you separate these entangled particles and measure one, the other state instantly changes, even across these mind-blowing distances, with no information exchange. Einstein famously called this exchange spooky action at a distance, because it seems like the particles communicate faster than light, but from what we can tell, no information is being transferred. This means the particles just know what the other is doing in a, well, really spooky way. Confusing? Yeah, okay. But let's look at some practical metaphors. Picture two puzzle pieces that fit together perfectly, but when you change the shape of one piece, the other automatically adjusts to match instantaneously. These pieces are always in sync. Or imagine two dancers rehearsing the same routine. But even if they perform in different cities, their movements remain perfectly synchronized. Essentially, we're describing a connection so deep and so ingrained that despite being individual particles, they function as one. Okay, if your brain is starting to melt, go ahead, stuff that bad boy back in because we need to talk about how this concept may be used in the show next week. So, is quantum entanglement between humans even possible? Well, maybe-ish, right? The idea of the human brain functioning on a quantum level has been discussed, but it's by no means a mainstream thought. Some scientists suspect that quantum processes, including entanglement, may play a role in explaining our brain's processing power and consciousness. However, some have explored how thoughts themselves may influence others if there's a really strong bond between the two. And that strong emotional bond between Jason One and Daniela is where I think the show will inject the concept of entanglement and use it as an answer for how Daniela will know which Jason is her Jason. The importance of their entanglement could symbolize fate and interconnectedness, and since these themes are littered throughout the show, Daniela might just instinctively resonate with her particular Jason. And sure, this concept may be a little woo-woo, but so is putting a human in superposition. And we have already maybe seen this connection in the show. As mentioned by others, Daniela's self-portrait looks very similar to the sick Danielle that Jason meets in the plague reality. So whether she consciously knew it or not, Jason won strong emotions at that moment, and their entanglement may have been what inspired her to paint that particular painting. And beyond the obvious differences between Jason 1 and Jason 2's personalities, she always seemed to just kind of know that they were just out of sync. With that said, the thought of Jason Prime weaponizing his entanglement with the other Jasons, maybe finding a way to control or influence them, crossed my mind for sure. But that is just not how entanglement works, and I think that would be too much of a stretch even with some creative licensing. The fact is, we don't know how the writers will play with the concept of entanglement. Maybe it's how Jason 2 can navigate the multiverse so well. Maybe it's how Ryan can find his way home. In the end, all we do know is we're about to get our minds blown next week. So the next time you feel a little oddly connected to someone or have an idea just pop into your head out of nowhere, keep the idea of entanglement in mind. Thanks again for listening. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts and theories about this, so please head over to the comments. And if you're enjoying our channel, let us and the algorithm know by liking and subscribing. Until next week, stay sleuthy.